sport. And heroes remain heroes, Mike, even if they're not always winning. Is that fair to say? Oh, absolutely. And the way they handle the feet. Yeah, good morning. It was a, a day of shocks at the Crucible in the snooker. And the world number one, Ronnie O'Sullivan, won't be crowned world champion for a record eighth time after he was beaten by Stuart Bingham 13 frames to 10. Plenty of drama at the Crucible and some controversy. This is the moment at 10 frames all with some noise and disturbance. You can see the other fans coming back for the other tables game in the auditorium. They made a bit of noise, just general chit chatter as they came back to watch the other match. You can see how close they are as well to Ronnie's table. After a few minutes, the referee wanted O'Sullivan to start playing his match again, but Ronnie said no, he'd wait for the crowd to settle. And he told the ref just to, to chill before eventually starting the match again. Bingham went on to win the next two frames, and O'Sullivan missed this yellow to hand the 2015 champion a golden opportunity. Bingham made no mistake booking his place in the semi finals. He said he had a few tears afterwards with joy, but O'Sullivan was upbeat in defeat. I'm actually really happy to be honest with you. I feel like I'm actually getting through the ball, which is more important uh, for me at this stage. You know, um, been a bit worried in a couple of years. So for me, you know, not not the win that um, I would like to have had, but you know, that's just snooker. That's the way it goes. Good luck to Stuart. He played a fantastic match and deserved his victory. So uh, I'm just pleased that I competed and felt I was queuing okay and just a few errors here and there. But you know, uh, on the whole, not too bad. Now, before that upset, there was another one as the world number two, Judd Trump, was beaten by Jack Jones, the uh, 2019 champion. Trump was the firm favourite in this one, but just seemed rattled, said he couldn't find his rhythm. As the Welsh from Jones, who is ranked 44th in the world and nicknamed the silent assassin, defy the odds to win. And the runner-up from four years ago, Kyron Wilson, is into the semis as well after beating John Higgins, 13-8. He'll, he'll take on David Gilbert, who beat Stephen Maguire earlier in the day.